Okay, update time. I think you can see me? I think. I hope you can see me and not just on top of whatever. Okay guys, thank you for watching my channel. I'm Angela and been lagging with the updates and giving you progress reports and stuff. I got my Fitbit on. I actually forgot it a couple days this week. So I have it back on. Let's hope that I lost a little bit of weight. I'm about to go in and get my Lupron shot and then get my blood work. When I'm not here for blood work, I'm here to get my port flushed and then a Lupron shot. So I'm at Kaiser at least once a month. And then next week, not not next week, in a couple weeks, next month, I have my follow-up appointment with my oncologist. And then I think I have a mammogram coming up soon. I just don't remember when I think I'm supposed to get it every six months. So I need to ask about that and that should be coming up. I don't know if you can tell, but it was raining. That I love the rain. So that's really cool. That was a nice surprise. It actually said there was a 25% chance, I think. And then when I checked this morning, it said zero. And then all of a sudden, before I'm leaving work, it starts getting dark. And then I noticed, hey, it's raining. So that was really a nice surprise. So I'm gonna go in. Let's hope that I lost a little bit of weight, even if it's like two or three pounds. That's better than gaining weight, right? So I'm gonna go in. And then maybe I'll, I don't know how long it's gonna take for my blood work. I usually see it on the Kaiser app within a couple hours or at the latest, usually like tomorrow morning. So I'll let you guys know if I lost any weight. I love the little Fitbit thing. It's, I think it's keeping me on track. It's at least keeping me more aware of what I'm doing. And I love scrolling through, seeing how I slept. It logs how long I slept and all that fun stuff. There's also a thing in there for oxygen. Um, I don't remember what that one's called. I have to pull it up, but it says if there are like big changes, then you might have a problem as I was asked before if I had sleep apnea and I think they mainly asked me because of how heavy I am and the fact that I stopped breathing three times when they were putting in my port. As far as I know, I don't have sleep apnea, but it was interesting looking at that because a couple times there was like a huge range change. I'll have to show you guys when I pull that up on my phone again. Maybe when I do the next update or later today. But thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna go in and then I'll give you an update on that. So I'll be right back. Well, we hit a little roadblock with my power port. They weren't able to access it for blood. So we'll see what happens. Oh. That was not fun. I did get my flu shot. There's my little band. They couldn't use my port. <sighs> I've only had it uh, have like a clotting issue once. So now it's time number two. They probably put, I don't know, eight things of saline through there. I don't know how much heparin. And then they used a medicine. It's like two doses to try and break up the clot, but the stuff was going through, but they weren't getting any blood return. So now I gotta find out if I need set an angiogram, an x-ray, or whatever my doctor wants. So I'll be waiting for that. I had to go down to the regular lab and get the blood draw on my arm, which he got it on the first try, but it was just like barely dripping. So it's, about 7.15 now. I got here like just before 4. It was like 3.49 or something. So long day for some stuff that usually only takes a couple minutes. So there's that. Hopefully my blood work is all okay. I have a feeling my oncologist is going to say it's time to remove this. So we'll see how that conversation goes. In a way I'll be glad to have it out because it gets bumped a lot. It's just, it's there. So, can't help but kind of bump it. Or my daughter lays her head right there sometimes. And I gotta tell her, no, we gotta move. Mommy has owies. And she doesn't understand that completely. 
Or she'll try and kiss it or put a band-aid on it. Really cute. But that'll be nice to get that out. I was hoping that I could just have like everything done at once, get that removed, and then the mastectomy on the right side and have reconstruction just like all together and just get everything over with. But I'm guessing that probably isn't gonna happen like that. So that's a little update for today. Today's September 24th. I've been lagging it on giving you guys updates and I weigh 114.5 kilograms which I think, if I'm not mistaken, I've only lost a pound. And that's why I don't weigh myself that often. I'll just weigh myself when I go to the doctor. I don't need to go get frustrated about it. I wanna just base it off of how I feel until I go to the doctor and actually see what it is. My clothes fit a little bit different and I feel like I lost more weight than just a pound. So, I'll, I'll take that. Hey, it's much better than gaining a pound. So I'll take a pound lost. I just got to keep up what I'm doing, have my little Fitbit on, probably keep my little Kaiser band right there, put it in my little scrapbook, because today was definitely something for the scrapbook. I took a couple pictures, share those. Maybe I already did share them. I don't know where I'm going to paste them in here, but see the thing like dangling. But as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. And if you haven't yet subscribed and you want to hit the little bell notification too, you'll be notified when I upload more stuff. You can follow me along. If you have questions, let me know. If you have comments, you want to share your stories or you have a channel, let me know. I'll check out your channel too. But thank you very much, guys. See you later.